Hey everybody, how's it going? I just wanted to go over uh, this case where you can uh, see the, um, a clear definition between the, the layers in the extra axial fluid. Uh, this is a, a good case showing the differentiation between the different layers of the dura. Um, usually when we're seeing extra axial fluid in these infants, uh, it's within the subarachnoid space. This patient has some anechoic fluid right here. And let's go on to the next image. So this is with a very high-res linear probe. So here you can see the layers. So this is an anechoic fluid collection here, extra axial, but uh, more specifically is subdural. This is the dura, this echogenic white line right here is dura. So any fluid or blood, but this is fluid. Below that would be subdural, so subdural fluid. And then you have the arachnoid membrane right here. And then under the arachnoid membrane, you can see the more echogenic fluid with the crossing vessels as well. So this is a typical area where we see the extra axial fluid, especially the benign enlargement of the extra axial spa uh, spaces. And then around the cortex of the brain, you can see here the pia membrane of the pia matter. All right, so here's your superior sagittal sinus, this picture's in coronal, interhemisphere fissure. Remember the dura is a uh, invagination. When the dura invaginates into the center here is the interhemispheric fissure, also known as the Falk's cerebri. All right, and then this is a picture with color. You can see the blood vessels crossing outside of the brain into the arachnoid matter right here. Here's another blood vessel right here. So I just wanted to show you guys how you can see differentiate between the three layers of the dura. You have the dura matter, arachnoid matter, and PM matter. All right, take care.